Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aziz Drives. You can see the background says clean and protect, which is exactly what we're going to talk about today. Because you know me, I drive black cars. Yeah, my private cars are all black, okay? So I just love black cars. I think they look bad, they have this bad mobile vibe. But there is a big, big and a very big problem with those cars. They are going to be scratched terribly. It's a pain in the arse to keep them clean and it's a pain in the arse to clean them properly. So every single time I go to the wash station, I can't just drive through, you know, like with a white color or something like that or a matte finish because it's going to scratch the paint. And obviously when you love cars, you wash them by hand. But since I don't have a lot of time, it's really difficult for me to keep those cars clean. And especially the worst thing is when I start to clean them and I put them in the sun, they look even worse than before. So I'm really not good at that. But thankfully, there are people that know what they're doing. So Clean and Protect is my uh, partner for yeah, putting ceramic coating on the car. So I'm going to show you what they did to the BMW M2. And let me tell you this, it looks absolutely sick. So let's have a look. Let's go into the hall so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. So we have a couple of beautiful cars, but have a look at that. I mean, this is one of the sickest things I have ever seen. It shines literally like a piano, man, waiting in the orchestra to be played. Look at that. Look at it. It's sick. You can see me, you can see my reflection perfectly clear. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful what they did. And you know, the process of doing that is really, really difficult, man. It's really difficult because most of you think, yeah, they just polished it or whatever. No, 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 no. Let me explain what they did. So first of all, the car came in pretty dirty, all right? I didn't wash it for like four or five months. I don't even know. Since I have the car, he told me, don't wash it. So I didn't. And there was salt on the car. There was all a bunch of stuff on the car, okay? Dirt and all of that. So first of all, they have to clean the car, of course, by hand. And when they've cleaned it, they have to dry it first. So it needs to be perfectly dry, okay? There's no place for any water drop on the car. So the third thing that they do is they take this clay, okay? And with the clay, they spray the car by hand, clay it really by hand with a, with a small clay. I'll bring it to you so you can see it. You see that? That's the clay, okay? They take this thing and they clean it by hand. Every single spot on the car, they have to clean it. They spray it a little bit with water and then they clean all the dirt of it. So it looks absolutely clean. Now you would think, well, then they polish it and that's it. No, no, listen closely. Put this away. After they've cleaned the car, now comes the important part. They have to polish it. So they polish it in three compounds. One is going to be the hard compound where they remove the biggest scratches, you know, such as yeah, things like scratches with keys, etc. They remove them and the car has like a matte finish. After they have done that with the hard compound, there comes the second part, which is a medium compound that removes a little bit of the swirls and all of that, you know. It removes it and then it looks pretty clean. And then comes the third thing. And now we're coming to the polish part. They polish it so it shines like a motherfucker, okay? So it shines brilliantly like here. But to put the ceramic coat on, they have to remove all of that so that the ceramic sticks on the collar. Imagine how much time you have to to use to do that. So they remove all the fat, all the oils on the car, and then they put the ceramic coat on, wait for 12 hours, and then it looks like this. Most of the time you put two coats of ceramic on so it shines like this. I mean, look at it. It's sick. And if that wasn't enough, have a look at this. Okay, so this is a G-Class. It's uh, from a customer of them. So basically the car comes in, it looks dirty, pretty dirty, used of course. A G-Class should be used. This has a gold paint, but you can see a bunch of things. The headlights are dirty, etc. So it comes in pretty dirty, okay? Maybe it has some, a little bit of rust and stuff on the color that's really not good, okay? Basic scratches. I can't really find or uh, tell you anything about the car. I don't know about it. I don't know who drove it, but I can see they use it basically, okay? They use it also in the back. So they take the car and they start cleaning it. And this is the result. It's really, really impressive to see something like that, man. I, I mean, 
I mean, look at it. It transformed it completely. And now you would think, yeah, well, a polish would do the job. But now we come to the topic I talked outside of the showroom. So now you might ask yourself, what is the benefit of that? Why would you do so much effort just to clean the car? It's very, very, very simple. I said in the beginning of the video, I don't have time to waste in life, man. I really don't. It's really, it's, it's really stressful to do all of those things. So what do you do? I can wash the car, I nano protect it because now I have a nano protection for two years. And realistically, you can go even through the washing station, the manufacturer says 55 times before you have to coat it one more time. I mean, 55 times, man. Let's be realistic, let's say 30 to 40 times. That's still plenty of coat left, that's, in that's insane. And most of the customers have the cost for like two years before they do another coat. So if you add that up, it just makes sense. It just makes sense because I save time. I just go to the wash station. I take the lens, I spray it up, that's it. Car stays clean and I'm going to do the same thing with my latest purchase, the BMW M6. All right, so let me show you this, okay? This is just a basic water bottle. Let's go to the G-Class first, all right? So to the owner, I'm very sorry I'm using your car for demonstration purposes, but you can say as it drives, use your car, man. That's a, that's a flex, that's a flex, all right? Let's see. So uh, we take the water and we just put it on here. As you can see, it does drip, it does go down, but it sticks kind of to the coat. You see that? It sticks a little bit on this collar, all right? Let's see what the nano coating does on the M2. So uh, <laughs> I'm actually very excited, to be honest. Let's see. <laughs> Look at that. That's, that's crazy, man. So not even water can stick on it. Look at that. Just basic drops here while it still stays here. And that's even a bigger, bigger surface. So let me take another surface that's maybe a little bit steeper. Let's look at this maybe. Look at that. Look at that, man. And that's the reason for a clean coat. And of course, you can do the same thing for the interior. You can even coat the leather, which I didn't do because the car is brand new. But look at that. Look how clean they kept the interior. That's sick. They even put a pattern on the floor mat just so it looks nice yeah i mean this is really beautiful work man and i can't wait to see the finished product next time we're going to be here the whole thing here from clean and protect is going to look different because they're going to do the floor etc they remove the floor mats here so they're going to do the whole floor again and the m6 is going to look brand new as the m2 yeah, i'm really happy about the work man it's really really great Thank you to Clean and Protect. And I think that sums it up perfectly fine. We'll check the color out on the daylight a little later so you can see how it sparkles, but uh, that's basically the end of the video. I wanted to do that. I wanted to give the M2 the final touch because now comes the sad part. I sold it. I sold it, but I wanted to do that before I decided to sell the car, okay? And the reasons why I sold the car, I'm going to explain in another video. So make sure you check out the link in the description because I put it there. There is a bunch of reasons why it's a beautiful car to drive. But let me just say this. I just like classics more. So uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you and see you on the next one. Goodbye.